guy's backing but up real quick. So that guy's backing up. Nah, real he'll quick. be okay. If we Are get... you sure? Okay, I would honk. I would honk. I would honk. Wow. <laughs> no, that's happened to me. My mom. <laughs> <laughs> we could buckle up. <laughs> Safety first. Uh, welcome back to Book Salad. Um, today I'm with my friend Ingrid. Uh, we're downtown Toronto. We are not driving around today because the traffic is bad and I just caught her on a lunch break. And uh, I'm excited to dive into some deep talk show convo. Yeah. This is not a podcast anymore. Well, actually, I don't know. <laughs> we don't know what it is. We don't know what it is. But I actually, I think that now the episodes of I've been like getting more comfortable with this. Um, and this is pretty much a talk show with a bunch of different weird elements. Um, so it could be a podcast, but we're keeping it on video only. Yeah. We're going to start off with uh, our little treat of the day. Treat of the day. Well, that's not, that's actually not what it is. But is today it? is a treat of the day. What is it? Check the glove box in that bag. I got these crazy Ooh. gummies. Where did you get these? It's called the Candy Shop. Um, fully vegan. Mm. Very okay. Probably the most expensive gummies I've ever purchased. Kind of nice. These are good. You should see the bottom ones. They're sour ones. Oh, I love sour ones. Ingrid, how do we know each other? Why are we still in contact? Isn't it a crazy world, right? It is. So, yeah, we went to school together. Mm -hmm. um, but the first time we actually really talked, because, like, I knew of you in, like, first year. Mm. But it wasn't until second year when we worked on a project together that, like, I really got to know you. Like, well, it was, like, that infographic. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Gotta love graphic design. Right? Yeah. And I don't know, like... For me, at least, like when we actually started talking and getting to know each other, like you have such like a warm soul. Oh, thank and, like, you. And like I really was like, I want you to be my friend. <laughs> well, likewise. Yeah. It, it's cool now that um, now that we're done university. We had lunch yeah. the other week, and Ingrid thoroughly impressed me with how how you're gonna go about getting to where you want to be. But it took a while for me to get there. Mm -hmm. So like once I graduated, so like you were like off, you're like, yeah, bye, left. I'm I going. Left. And I, I had no idea what I wanted to do just yeah. cause like, because our program was so broad. Yeah. Like I was lost. I had no idea what to do. And I was stuck in like that mindset of like, if I apply to one job, I'm going to get it, which obviously is not realistic, yeah. but like, I don't know, I guess like, especially with like the one co-op term that we had, mm -hmm. like, I don't know, I literally applied to like five jobs and I got one interview and I got that one job. So like it set me up for like mm -hmm. an unrealistic um, idea of what job hunting actually is. Um, but yeah, like I grew a lot in like, it was pro it probably took me like a year and a bit to actually land this job that I'm currently in. Um, but yeah, it was a lot of growth. So Ingrid and I are both trying to make it in the in the film business one day. We're gonna do our own paths and team up when we're like yeah. forty. Or <laughs> um, so like, what do you actually do? What's your like? Not, I'm not gonna say day to day, but what's yeah, your yeah, job yeah. title? So my job title is production coordinator. Um, so what that entails is honestly just being support to the producers. Right. Um, so the more interesting side of what I do is I get to shadow on um, like smaller projects. Whether so the only ones that I've gone to so far. Well, no, actually I've been to a couple. So I've gone to radio um, spots where we go into like a recording studio right. and we're just like in the room, they're doing their script, they're doing their spiel and you just sit and you just kind of wait to see if there's a fire that you have to put out. Right. Which like if everything's planned properly beforehand, there's going to be no issue. Yeah, yeah. Um, I've been to a couple of like photography shoots and stuff which are cool. And again, like so much of it comes with like making sure your like pre-production stuff, your planning is solid and then the rest just falls um, easily. But yeah, right now, like I'm just trying to shadow as much as I can because my boss just really wants me to know the process so then I can take on smaller jobs right. and stuff. What's it like working with a bigger company? Do you, do you the benefits. <laughs> Yo, the actually, benefits. We did talk about that. <laughs> Like you can find happiness in working that nine to five, right? Yeah. Cause that was a big thing that like when I graduated from university, I'm like, fuck the nine to five. Like I worked a nine to five for co-op 
-hmm. and it wasn't something I particularly enjoyed but again like you have to jump into those experiences that you may hate but like they still help you grow and they still help you define what you actually want to do um but no so I like what I'm doing right now because I am able to shadow and I'm able to get out of the office so it is kind of like the best of both worlds where so right now like I'm kind of on like a producer path so once I hopefully who knows become a producer then yeah it'll be like a mix of being in the office doing whatever like pre-planning calls and stuff but like you go out on shoots you go out to do records and stuff and you scout for locations and all that good stuff so like you are out of the office yeah but like you still have like that home base of an office and like the security that comes with working for a big company i think i need that in the next like couple of years yeah or it's not that i need it i feel like you're connecting with the right people yeah in the industry at least they can point you in the right direction yeah and like really guide you and, and help you learn yeah because i don't think i'm learning where i'm at right now just working for myself as much as as much as maybe you are like if i did a one-on-one comparison hmm. you were like doing new stuff every day you're learning you're learning you're learning i'm learning in a different way but it's not actually like helping me necessarily like scale my business i don't know if i agree with that okay because Fire back. <laughs> what I'm learning is, yeah, definitely the more like corporate side of it. So like actually doing estimates and doing like right. final actuals and like comp reports and all that like Ugh. jargon and <laughs> <laughs> paper. Yeah. Um, but no, like you're still exploring your creative side. And I find that like right now, because I'm still finding like trying to find a balance between work, trying to incorporate like my own projects as well as like working out and meal prep and like I'm still trying to find a groove for all that kind of stuff. So I find for me in terms of creativity, like like I'm lacking. Like I don't have enough yeah. that I like that I need in my day to day. So I'm really feeling like not as motivated to start smaller projects. Do you feel um that you'll be able to find your motivation working or, or like inspiration while in a nine to five? I guess for me, it's more like I have the ideas. It's just actually making them come to life. Right. Which is the struggle. So before I started this job, I was working on a short film. And so at that point, like I was working like it was like an awkward part time slash full time job and stuff. So I was able to find more time. But like I didn't I wasn't the one who drove it like there was someone else driving it. And I just kind of like hopped on and right. everything. Um, but with that experience that made me learn that I want something that's my own. Right. Um, so like I need to find the inner motivation to actually make it come to life as well as like finding a way to incorporate like the skills that I have learned, like budgeting and all that kind of stuff and bring it into whatever I want to do. And like looking into like grants and stuff that I've stumbled upon and all that good stuff. Well, this is the talk show where we say (laughs) things and then we make them happen. Uh, you're, you're preaching it. So (laughs) It's now on video, so you can hold yourself accountable. I know, right? <laughs> Love it. That's how we do this. Uh, we'll be right back. I know that I still got light deep and light deep inside. Yeah, that's my shit. Light deep inside. Hey! All right, so I'm going to keep running ads. Um, if you'd like your ad in, 20 bucks. Or you can buy us food and bring it on the, bring it on the show. I think that's kind of fair, right? That's fair. Yeah. Well, we'll see what happens. <laughs> um, okay. What are we talking about? Oh, we can jump. Let's jump back into uh, going to school together. I feel like it's really nice that we've been able to like stay in touch, even though I've been like kind of gone and just, just like occasional pop. Hey, I'm back. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I don't know how to answer that, <laughs> but I think it's funny because when I went to university, for some reason, I expected to maybe walk out with like a core group of people. I have like a handful of people where I'm like, hey, I have this idea, do you want to help? They were more than likely be like down. Um, But for me, um, I definitely, yeah, I, so I grew up in Mississauga, then my mom moved to Toronto. So coming back to Toronto after university, I like none of my friends that I grew up with were here. And so, like, I really had to push myself to be like, okay, how am I going to make a network for myself in Toronto? Yeah. So I actually went to the TIFF Next Wave. Um, It was like a full day conference and everything. And that's where I met so many other young, uh, aspiring filmmakers, actors, screenwriters, whoever, 
there, and so I kept in touch with some. You went to school for four years, and maybe didn't get that, right? Yeah. But yep. like, which is okay. That's like, it's it was just a different type of program. What's really funny is <laughs> I think I'm the complete opposite. I'm like, I just want to go away for a week, be by myself, and that's what's going to make me whatever, like wow. be, have like my creative juices flowing. Sick. Hilarious. Like, well, I, you know, actually a week for myself would be kind of nice too, <laughs> now that you mention it. Yeah, cause like I find that, I don't know, when I'm around other people and like I have like a goal for myself being like, oh, like I want to write this or I want to do whatever. Mm -hmm. It only happens late at night when I'm by myself in my room. It doesn't help happen during the day cause like everyone's hustle and bustling. They're like, let's go do this, let's go do that. Yeah. And I'm just like, I just want to sit here and be by myself. Like I want to put my hand, like noise canceling headphones yeah, in, yeah, yeah. be in my zone. Um, but yeah, like that's like, that's something that I want to do sometime in the future is like literally take four days off or however long I can actually have, go away somewhere remote with nature and see what happens. And like see putting like that pressure, not pressure, but like being my own motivator in that regard, because like I have no one around me. I have no distractions. Yeah. Can I actually buckle down and not judge myself with whatever creativity I, I produce? There you go. Well, we've got you on camera again. Oh God, Set again! Another thing motivating <laughs> you. Well, if you uh, don't get around for that um, anytime soon, when you're in your room with your headphones on, I have uh, a print or two for you. I mean, maybe just Actually, I have three choices. Oh, uh, Ingrid boy. responded probably about like four months ago <laughs> to uh, a call I put out on my Go Film Things Instagram page where I was giving out free prints. Um, so you missed your chance. If you're not following Go Film Things, go do that. Um, she's going to take a look at these prints and we'll be right back. Okay. The winning print. That's the winner. Let me fix the focus here. Um, and that was my little my little ad for uh, for my prints. So if you ever want prints, yeah, just let me know. We're working on something this summer. Yeah, hopefully. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. I need to finish <laughs> all this stuff. There's been there's a lot. <laughs> there's been another uh, episode with my friend Stephen um, that if you watched or listened to, that where he's gonna be the the main cinematographer on the project. Got to figure out a lot of stuff. I definitely want to run it by you. Um, but at least you'll have that personal project under your belt this summer for sure. Amazing. If all goes according to plan. Amazing. Any other personal projects you're, you're scheming or you're just going to work? Let's work on you getting you those like four days away first. Four days away. Yes, that's definitely, hopefully I can do that at some point over a long weekend. <laughs> <laughs> Anything else we should add here, Ingrid? No, like I just think what you're doing here is honestly phenomenal. Oh, okay. And you're like such a free spirit. Oh, Ingrid. But you're also so motivated, I, and I'm so lucky to have you as a friend. Oh, like oh, honestly, that's so, you're so you're nice. the best. And like, man, what a good friend to have. What oh, a good friend to have. Okay, <laughs> let's get you back to work. No, let's thank go you so back much. to work. Thank okay, you. Let's go. <laughs>